Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about dengue virus, which is extremely important for all the students actually. It's important as a passage, it's also important as a report, it's also important as a paragraph, and in many other ways it could be filling the gaps as well. So therefore I'm going to give you some information so that at least you could write something down there. So dengue virus is a very serious problem in our country during the rainy season here. And most of the people are panicking. You see, look at the spelling. Panicking because uh, people are afraid of it. And nowadays, due to the increase of the patients, number of patients in our country, scarcity of beds in the hospital is a great problem, actually. And let me talk about a little bit about dengue virus. RNA flavi virus is a dengue virus. Uh, you know, this virus is so dangerous that, uh, like, it could affect our whole body and the fever could go extreme. And look at the origin, uh, like when did it originate? It's an African female mosquito which has created this virus for the first time. And name of the virus is Aedes aegypti. Aedes aegypti virus is the one which is the mainly responsible for causing dengue fever. There are four types of dengue fever. Den 1, Den 4, which is called classical dengue fever, Den 2 and Den 3, these are known as hemorrhagic dengue fever. This is really dangerous. So let me talk about some symptoms of classical dengue fever. There will be high fever, stomach pain, vomiting, headache, pain in the joint bones, wrist, back side of the eyes and therefore the pain will be sometimes very much difficult to tolerate these are called break bone fever because uh, like the pain will be like as if the bones are breaking down therefore it is also known as break bone fever so after three or four days this fever can be recovered and the patient could become fine although some symptoms will still work let me talk about hemorrhagic dengue fever. This is deadly. Most of the time, patients die, and bleeding is the symptom of it. Too much blood fall. And look at this uh, high fever, stomach pain, vomiting, headache, joint bone pain. All these problems could go extreme. Bloods will come down from gum and nose like from this down and nose. Red circles will be there in the skin. Blood vomiting will be there. Black blood in the stool. When the, uh, you will go to the toilet, you will discover that bloods are coming down. Internal bleeding, both in the brain and heart, is the serious problem actually and people will die. So these are the problems. Now let me talk briefly about what is going on. How does it affect? It is no infectious virus, like no infection from human to human. It cannot be transmitted. But the problem is, it does not have any medicine so far. No injection, nothing. No cure has been discovered so far or invented. So look at this. Human being, mosquito, mosquito human being. It means from human be being to human being, dengue fever cannot spread. On the other hand, when a person has got dengue fever, a normal mosquito could bite him. And this mosquito becomes infected mosquito. And this infected mosquito could bite, transmit healthy people by biting. And it becomes <laughs> the other person who is healthy, he also gets infected by dengue virus. And he is also suffering from dengue virus. In this way, dengue virus spread. So as there is no medicine, look at this I've written, prevention is better than cure. So we have to take immediate measures to stop this virus by being very aware of destroying the places where this dengue uh, creating Egypti could be originated, like in the, in the coconut, green coconut uh, spoiled places 
in many uh, open places if the water is stagnant in that case the water will create some problem and there the mosquito will lay its eggs and by these eggs the, the more mosquitoes will be created and it will become dangerous so this is the reason in basically it is affecting dhaka nowadays this dengue virus has been spreading throughout the country because of this thing from dengue patient to dengue patient it does not spread mosquito gets infected and this infected mosquito is biting healthy people and in this way dengue virus is getting uh, like more and more dangerous nowadays so that's it from here thank you very much for listening to me and i hope that you will understand the effect of dengue virus and you could write about it in english thank you very much